Shalom. All praise unto you, Pashmi Asha, Pashmi Rakakatash. The pronouns and the letters of Apostles of Christmas stone, the others on down. Shalom to you, since you came to elect of your Pashmi Asha, Pashmi Rakakatash. Seven your Pashmi Asha in spirit and truth and sincerity. Okay, the headlines read. Okay, it's from the website news uh, 365. The CZA says Zulu uh, King Goodwill Zuli Teen speaks out. I did it for peace and unity. Uh, but, uh, it was released on on the 10th of uh, November 2018, the year of prophecy. It says King Zulu King Goodwill Zuli Teen speaks out. I did it for peace and unity. The king was speaking at the unveiling of his own and and Nelson Mandela statue at at uh, Mitchell Park in Durban yesterday. The Zulu King uh, Goodwill Zulu Tini has defended hosting Diwali celebration in his palace at the weekend and earlier inviting Afri Forum to the annual Reed Dance. Uh, this whole unification bullshit and nonsense these nations have among themselves, unifying themselves together. Because uh, this is their rulership. Okay. This is this is their paradise. But you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay, you're still miserable until this very day. But you still want to see yourself joining hand, joining your hands and together with the wicked. And that's not going to exempt them from being judged. These nations, Psalms 83, all oh, it gives you the list of your enemies, who the enemy is. Okay, because you have the Zulu king, he's Hamite. Okay, inviting, okay, Elam, allowing them to host the, the Diwali uh, festivities in his background. And later on, inviting these Edomites, these guys from Afri Forum. See, these are the enemies. Psalms 83. Read the whole goddamn chapter. Uh, and the Most High is going to execute judgment. It says in the book of Micah, he's going to execute judgment upon the heathen, such as never been heard before. Okay. Because this is their time right now. They're living it all up. Okay. It says that the king lashed out the those who criticize him it says the king criticized uh, the king lashed out at those who criticized him and said he was doing it for the social cohesion between different race groups in the province he said everyone was aware that the relationship between indians and zulus was not good so he felt he should work towards uni uniting these groups okay social cohesion are you serious? <laughs> this is madness. Okay, this is absolute madness. Social cohesion, a load of crap. There's no lo There's no social cohesion that's going to be established here. Okay, there's going to be more division such as never been seen before. Okay, Isaiah 13 goes into that. Everyone that's going to be found among them is your. Let's get that in Isaiah 13. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 13. Okay. <clears throat> Salakia Isaiah 14, Salakia. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14. Here we go.
في أسلاك يا أزياء 14 and uh, Isaiah 13 and 14 <clears throat> says and it shall be as a chase row as a sheep that no man taketh up there shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land so these divisions are going to be made manifest despite all these different this this fucking hamites trying to unify themselves with uh with uh with these elamites and these nah uh, uh edomites okay that's the main thing is you Israelites, those of you who've been scattered among these nations, you better. The drawing line is now. Which side are you on? Are you on your Harpash Mashai side? Or are you okay? Are you in league with these nations? Because right here it says in Isaiah 14, 13 and 14 says, It shall be as a chase through and as a sheep that no man taketh up, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone to his own uh to his own land okay it says and he shall be says uh, everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is drawn unto them shall fall by the sword because these are these this, these are the very hectic hectic times that we're coming into right now if you join unto them uh, you're gonna die alongside them because you're gonna be joined alongside with the enemy but the thing is if you are of the elect of yapa shmiyasha and as an Israelite of Yahapa Shemiyashah, Galatians 6 and 16, you're going to be saved, you're going to be kept safe. That's the importance of taking heed unto the word of Yahapa Shemiyashah, given, and, and, and given through his mouthpiece, his servants, the prophets, okay, on hours and hedges, during the week, doing these different sit-downs, these different lessons, okay, preaching the word of Yahapa Shemiyashah, the gospel of repentance unto the lost sheep, of the house of Israel, which are so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, Native Americans who have been scattered among these different nation, nations. Okay, if you have this mentality that uh, Queen Zolintini has, okay, you, you're not going to make it. Though you be of the seed stock of the nation of, of Yasharala, of one of the 12 tribes, you're not going to make it. If you still have this this, uh, this whole mentality of you want to you wanna see yourself, uh, let's of uh, of loving the enemy, be joined unto them. You're not gonna make it. You gonna be thrust through. You're not gonna make it. Isaiah 13 and 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. You're gonna die a horrible, miserable death. The Lord says, "I will begin to 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 judge the uns the circumcised with the uncircumcised." Uh, you scattered among these nations, you better take heed unto the warning. The warning is right now. In the kingdom to come, there won't there won't be any form of this unification. Here it is, we have these uh, the Zulus worshipping ancestors. All these different idols that they worship. We got Elam worship these different gods. And they're unifying themselves together. In Ga you have Esau. On the other hand, this is confusion. This is absolute confusion. Let's get this on Zephaniah. Zephaniah 2 verse 11 says, And the Lord will be terrible unto them. So like it, Zephaniah 2 Okay, this is Zephaniah 2 and 11 says, And the Lord, Yahweh, Masha, will be terrible unto them. For he will famish all the gods of the earth. These newly gods, which are newly created, this says in the book of Deuteronomy 32. Okay, they sacrifice un un unto devils, not unto Yahweh, Masha. These gods, which are newly created. Okay. So Zephaniah 2 and 11, For the Lord, Yahweh, Shemashah, will, will be terrible unto them. For he will famish all the gods of the earth, and all men sh shall worship him, every man from his place. Okay, because you nations, you know, this, this, this thing of nations coming together, it only brings nothing but pure confusion. And that's the end result of what we see happening in the society. 
uh, come on let's live peaceful, peacefully with one another but, but yet our value systems are not the same how the hell can we live together that causes confusion somebody must be wrong somebody must be right okay it says if Zephaniah 2011 says for the Lord will, have, will be terrible unto them for he will furnish all the gods of the earth and and men shall worship him everyone from his place even all the isles of the heathen okay you nations you going back to world you you going back to your different lands we're not going to have this fucking confusion that's happening around here in in south africa we have the chinese you got the japanese you got the the east indians we got elam let me call them by the biblical name we got canaanites we have we have kushites we have uh Ammonites, Moabites, Ishmaelites, uh, Elamites, all these different nations that I hear, Edomites. Okay, that's all confusion. It's a cesspool of confusion, man. All these different gods, these different these different idols that have been have been worshipped, these idols of these different nations. The Yahweh has go, he's gonna wipe them clean. He's gonna remove them, man. There shall be only one Lord. That's gonna be worshipped, Yahweh, Bashm, Yahshai, and none else in that day. Not this fucking nonsense that's happening. All of this gonna be is gonna be done away with very soon. And the next thing, that, the major thing that's gonna happen after that, is gonna you Esau, Edom, you so called men, descendants, and your descendants, Africanus, Dutchess, Europeans, the British, the English. The Portuguese, okay, white Americans, you're gonna be eradicated, you're gonna disappear off the face of the earth. And once that happens, all you nations, you're gonna still be divided according to lot, to your different lots. Okay, let's get that in Deuteronomy 32 and close off. All right, let's set the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and uh. 32 and uh, verse 8 okay it says when the most high divided to the nations their inheritance so he divided all these nations their own inheritance their different lands the, the, uh, the so called Africans which are Hamites got the so called continent of Africa which is the land is the land of Ham according to the scriptures not Africa Okay, you're not Africans, you Hamites, and amongst you got Israelites. This is for those who've been scattered among you, those who are of the elect. It says Deuteronomy 32 and 8 says, When the Most High divided the na- to, to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bonds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Okay, different boundaries. Okay. Those, so so those those exact same boundaries are going to be be, be are reestablished very soon. Things are going to be divided once again. Cause we're not supposed to, to be unified. That's why the Tower of Babel never ne- never stood, never got completed, cause it brings about confusion. And the flood came. Because of the rivalry that was happening, and people unifying themselves to get having one mind, one thought, that brings about wickedness on a on a on a high high level, and things have gotten worse right now. So Yahweh Shemash is going to bring all this fucking madness into into an end. All oh, praise unto Yahweh Shemash, Yahweh Shemukakatash. That will not send you the supposed of great news. So I'm just on down. Shall the teaching to the elect of Yahweh Shemash, Yahweh Shemash, Yahweh Shemukakatash, Prakatam, to the elect of of the twelve tribes, which are your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and your descendants, who've been dis- who've been scattered, and you've been called by the word of the Holy One, Yahweh Shemash, Yahweh Shemukakatash, Prakatam, Shalom.